Hey, what's up? Jixer here. Do you want to exchange contact information with a friend? iOS 18 introduces Name Drop, a convenient feature that lets you easily share your contact details with nearby iPhones. In this video, I will guide you through the process of setting up and sharing your contact card on your iPhone. Let's go. Actually, your iPhone automatically creates a contact card for you using your Apple account. To find it, open the Contacts app. Your contact card is labeled My Card at the top. If you want to customize your contact card with additional information, tap on it and click Edit in the upper right corner. You can change your profile picture, add more personal numbers, email accounts, your address, birthday, and more. Once you're finished, click Done to save your changes. In case you don't see a My Card section, you can manually add your contact information by tapping the plus button at the top of the Contacts app. After saving the information, find your newly added contact in the list. Tap and hold on it and select Make This My Card. For you to share your contact card, ensure that Name Drop is activated on both iPhones. While Name Drop is typically enabled by default, verify the setup in Settings. Go to General and open AirDrop. Make sure Bring Devices Together is activated. To initiate sharing, hold your iPhone a few centimeters from the top of the other person's device until you feel haptic feedback and the Name Drop screen appears on both ends. Before sharing, you can customize the fields you want to include by tapping the Angle button and selecting the specific data only. Remember, the last shared fields will be used as the default for future name drop interactions. To start the transfer, click Share on your iPhone and Receive Only on the other device, respectively. Finally, click Done on both devices to complete the transfer. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or other problems with your Apple device, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.